Ceremony at the state's Bicentennial Mall today marked the end of a conflict that still shapes our world. On August 14, 1945, Japan surrendered to end World War II. State Capitol reporter Chris Bungard shows us how Tennessee remembered that day. This is my father. He served in World War II. He went in the Navy in 1940. On any day, you'll find people at the Bicentennial Mall in Nashville remembering loved ones or learning about World War II here. But this is a special day, and it was clearly recalled by a retired state archaeologist. And I was three and a half years old when the, when the war ended, and I remember very distinctly um, everybody celebrating. That joy in 1945 came after nearly six years of war. A wreath marking Japan's surrender on this day 75 years ago was placed by the floating giant granite globe showing World War II's major battles. The soldiers there were called the greatest generation. I think these events right here are very important. Uh, it's very important for our youth to <clears throat> see these, um, the recognition of this greatest generation. Clayton Walden echoed those words as he came here with a jacket signifying his own service in Vietnam and the Gulf War, but this day was about his dad. I hope in my lifetime we can educate uh, the younger generations what our fathers and forefathers went through. COVID-19 kept away soldiers still alive from World War II, but remembering the Tennesseans who died in the conflict will never be forgotten at this memorial. Eight granite stone monoliths stand testament to that. Each one of these stones represents 10,000 stories and 10,000 experiences by men and women across this state and across this country. More than 5,000 mostly young Tennesseans died in faraway places like Normandy, France, or somewhere in the Pacific before two atom bombs forced Japan to surrender exactly 75 years ago. Reporting from Nashville, Chris Bungard. Chris, thank you. And we're told the World War II Memorial is one of the most visited areas of Bicentennial Mall's State Park.